Another concept left off from the first video is the polarity of the molecules when you draw the molecular structure, how to find out if uh, the bond is polar or not, uh, if the molecule is polar or not, but everything goes back to the electronegativity. Uh, you remember, electronegativity is the tendency of atoms to pull the electrons in a covalent bond. So we say electrons are shared, but sometimes the electrons are not uh, equally shared. So we always say it's like a rope pulling contest. Okay, sometimes both sides have the same uh, energy, same force, but sometimes one side is weaker, one side is stronger. So, if you remember, the trend for electronegativity was increased from left to right across the period and also increased from bottom to top. This was electronegativity trend. Based on this trend, let's find out the polarity of a bond like HCl. Between hydrogen and chlorine, chlorine is more electronegative. And you know, like, fluorine is the highest in electronegativity value, and uh, francium is the lowest. It's 4, and this is almost 0.7. If you need to work with electronegativity values, they will be given to you. Nobody is uh, memorizing this. So between hydrogen and chlorine, chlorine is more electronegative. So if we look at this molecule under a microscope, you will see such an electron density, more over uh, chlorine. So we put a delta sign, this is the lowercase delta, we call it partially negative, partially negative. You remember we talked about polarity of bonds, partially negative and over hydrogen, what do we call it? partially positive. All right? Okay. Now, such a bond is polar because the concentration of electrons is over chlorine. So in this case, when the bond is polar, you can draw the dipole moment towards the negative center dipole moment. So uh, polar bond and because this molecule just has one bond you call it uh, also a polar molecule. Okay? But what if our molecule is larger? Something like CCL4. We have to determine the polarity of each bond. The key is to draw a correct Lewis structure. So let's determine the polarity between carbon and chlorine. According to the trend, the polarity of carbon is more, uh, I'm sorry, chlorine is more, so there is a partially negative on every carbon, chlorine. So dipole moment on each bond is towards chlorine, right? All right. Now, how to determine, the bonds are polar, but how to determine the overall molecule is polar or not? You can go with the vectors, with the opposite vectors, according to physics law. When the two vectors are on the opposite side, they will cancel out each other. So there would be no overall dipole that I can draw because these vectors cancel out each other, these vectors cancel out each other. So bonds are polar, polar bonds. But because we are talking about the overall dipole, you cannot draw it or an overall dipole because molecule is completely symmetrical and the distribution of electrons is completely symmetrical all over the molecule. So bonds are polar, but molecule is non-polar molecule. Okay, so let's go to the next molecule, which is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, 
uh, let me tell you again, uh, double bonds don't have any role in polarity. So, between carbon and oxygen, which one is uh, more electronegative? Oxygens, right? So, in each carbon-oxygen bond, dipole moment is towards oxygen. Again, the molecule is symmetrical, the two vectors on two opposite sides are uh, the same strength, so it shows a non-polar molecule, right? And uh, the last molecule, let me work on a molecule like NH3. Between nitrogen and hydrogen, which atom is more electronegative? Nitrogen, right? So on each bond, dipole moment is towards nitrogen, correct? And also, you see, seems like the flow of electrons is all towards nitrogen, and also, this non-bonding pair is a big pair, right? Is a is a big uh, density of electrons. So it seems like all the electron flow is towards the top of the molecule. So the molecule is polar. Make sense? Let's work on water molecule as the last molecule in this part. When you draw the Lewis structure, you have such a structure. So, hydrogens are partially positive, oxygen is partially negative, so dipoles are towards oxygen, and also these two non-bonding pairs make the dipole be a strong dipole towards the top of the molecule, so it's a very polar molecule. The polarity of water molecule gives it uh, a lot of properties, uh, such as being a very good solvent for most of the uh, compounds. That's the polarity of the molecule. Work on more examples, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.